This video demonstrates how to operate the Abbey Mark II refractometer in the Unit Operations Laboratory. Refractometry is an analytical technique by which the concentration of a substance in an unknown liquid sample can be assessed. This figure is a schematic of the refractometer. Note the location of the eyepiece, prism surface, illumination arm, dispersion correction wheel, and adjustment control. First, power the refractometer on by turning the mode selector to N subscript D. Next, open the prism assembly cover. Clean the measuring prism surface with isopropanol and then with DI water. Wipe the surface with a Kim wipe. Do not wipe the measuring prism surface while it is dry. Any residue left on the prism can affect the accuracy of the readings. Then, apply approximately one milliliter of a solution to the measuring prism surface using a plastic transfer pipette. The solution must cover the entire prism surface in order for the refractometer to provide an accurate refractive index reading. Close the prism cover and position the illumination arm above the prism cover so that light may pass through the glass prisms and the solution between them. Next. Place the crosshair adjustment access hole at the 6 o'clock position by adjusting the dispersion correction wheel. Looking into the eyepiece, rotate the eyepiece to bring the crosshair into focus. Then, turn the adjustment control to position the shadow line below the crosshair reticle. In the presence of any red or green color at the edge of the shadow line, adjust the dispersion correction wheel to eliminate these colors. Rotate the adjustment control until the shadow line is centered with the crosshair reticle. The shadow line must be centered in order for the refractometer to provide an accurate refractive index reading. Now, depress the read button to obtain the refractive index reading for the solution. This reading will appear digitally on the display window of the refractometer. Once the refractive index has been recorded, Remove the solution from the measuring prism surface with a Kim wipe. Then, follow the same procedure for cleaning the prism surface before testing the next solution.